Utalium is gold, is referred to gold dory bar. Okay? When we say gold dory bar, gold that is not 100%, that hasn't got 100% orum. Okay, orum is gold, pure gold. That is 24 carats gold, which is 99.99999. Now, so when you see orum utalium, what it means is that it is gold of a certain percentage purity or carat, and then a foreign matter. And that foreign matter could be silver, it could be copper, it could be, you know, any, any, any of the metals. Now, we sign a contract, okay, with uh, people that we do business with. And then we say we are selling our room, the, commodity um, the commodity description, as, or the commodity specification is Orum Utalium. Um, the percentage purity is 93 or 92, no, 90, 92%. And then the carat is 22 carat plus, all right? And then somebody says, put respectfully, their ignorance on display, read Google, which is not, okay, it's somebody's company, so, read information from somewhere, which is not gospel, okay, and then makes a huge farce or propaganda out of it. It is unfair. Now, today, Snap has been, Snap was, Snap is somebody's brand, okay, and it is, um, the inspiration was taken from Snapchat. Today, Snap has been incorporated into the English dictionary. Previously, Snap, was not, all right? The, but uh, following Snapchat, so now in a place of video me, everybody says snap me. Now today, in, a, um, in the absence of send me a message, we say WhatsApp me. You know, language is organic. And every language, every word was once just a jargon. So when it comes to my field of trade, in our local parlance, there's this joke, say, Obi any ne jume mo brofo. Inti ne say onti ya. I was so bisa. Unyima. I was so bisa. Now in the gold dealership, you know, um, let's say industry, the world over. If anybody wants to describe gold dory bar, they say it's orum utalium. Now I cited a text that says that. Um, it is a word that is often used by, it says what, orum utalium is so often used by criminals. Now let's pay attention to so often. Okay, I believe this is English, everyday English. So we all, we, uh, and I'm sure you, the media, even understand it better than some of us do. Orum utalium is so often used by criminals who distribute fake good. Now, so often, when we say something is so often used by somebody, what it means is that some persons uses it, but this person uses it more. So it doesn't mean it is flawed or it is, it is fake. Now, it goes on to say that fake good who offer 1,000 kilograms of good. Now, no gold dealer would say 1,000, no proper gold dealer or a, a, a better intellectual text on gold, all right, we'll say 1,000 kilos. The SI unit for gold is in kilograms, ounces, grams, and then kilos, and then tons. So if this is an authoritative, academic, or intellectual text, all right, it would have been offers one ton, you know, and not 1,000 kilograms. Sometimes 5,000 5, kilograms, they wouldn't have written for, they would have written five tons. So I see this is coming from Somebody that has been a victim of the, um, the 90 percent or 99 percent gold fraud around the world that I, you know, have been a victim that I've been detained for, you know, um, what's it called? Eight months in Dubai for no wrongdoing. Okay, and then it goes on to say the abbreviation AU means orum, all right, and nothing else. There is no such word in Latin, and there never was a Latin word for orum. So I ask you proud to the incorporating of 
a word like snap into the English dictionary? Was there a word like snap? Today we say, we say, and not just snap, there are several other, you know, with time. We can do the research and then bring it to the fore. There are so many words that weren't, but today they are. And this is language. So disregard, you know, the misconception, dispel it. It is just something that was orchestrated by certain persons who, are not, who do not have, you know, um, the fact. 